I've asked Ash Gardner with Dave Smith Motors here in Kellogg, Idaho to join us to go under the hood of the 2013 Ram 1500 and this is the Longhorn Crew Cab 4x4 and this is a big vehicle, big to me. Absolutely, I mean you've got quite a bit of space in the crew cab. Uh, Chrysler in years past have only had the quad cab option with an available mega cab that they found was just too big. So now you've got the crew cab, which is up against your super crew um, in the Ford um, or the crew cab in the uh, GMC and Chevrolet line. Um, you've got the 5.7 length box, five foot and uh, seven inch box length. Uh, this vehicle is equipped with the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. Um, also new to the segment is the 3.6 liter Pentastar, Chrysler's new flagship motor. It replaced five motors in one. Um, you're looking at a vehicle with the 3.6 equipped with the new adjustable suspension and aerodynamics that have gone into this truck, capable of 25 miles per gallon on the highway. Um, prime competitor, probably the Ford EcoBoost, uh, both just over 300 horsepower. Um, however, this vehicle with reliability, I think is probably gonna do a little bit better because it's achieving 305 horsepower naturally aspirated, meaning there's no turbocharger. Whereas with the EcoBoost Ford in the 3.5, it's a twin turbo design that can potentially lead to some issues um, that I have heard with some of my clients. Now, I don't know a lot about trucks. Again, I am the everyman driver, and this is a, a new realm for me. So talk about what people look for or their checklist when uh, shopping for a, a 1500 or you know a half ton truck. Sure, absolutely. After everything that occurred with the US auto manufacturer, now customers are beginning to become more and more increased. Their, their view is gonna be looking at fuel economy on top of towing capacity. I mean, this truck, and a variety of different configurations is going to achieve well over 10,000 pounds of towing capacity, probably close to 10,500 in some segments if you stick with the quad cab. Um, however, like I said, with the cost of fuel rising, the economy the way that it is, now customers are much more um, concerned with fuel economy. So that's why Chrysler, with our new P partnership with Fiat, is in introducing the 3.6 liter Pentastar motor. The other checklist, like I'd already mentioned, is gonna be your towing capacity. Uh, you know, the, this vehicle at over 10,000 pounds is capable of doing just about anything. And it's gonna allow people to get into a half ton truck and do what some of the diesels of old were used to doing without the cost of ownership on a diesel truck. So nowadays, are, are truck builders and manufacturers looking to make it more of a, a driving experience as well as a, a vehicle that has a purpose? Absolutely. The body style was redesigned in 2010, and then again now in 2013, you'll see that the grille is slightly different. There's a few adjustments, but the packages that they're offering, this is becoming more and more of what the SUVs of old or large full-size sedans were. You've got 20-inch wheels, standard across the board. This package in the Longhorn level, uh, again, very comparable to a Ford King Ranch or say a GMC uh, Denali truck. Um, there's a lot more flair in this truck. You've got laser engraved etched seating, um, very, very Western style themed. Um, they're becoming like the SUVs, the Yukon Denali's, and you know some of the full size sedans of old. Now, is there something special about uh, the, spill, the stability or how it handles or how it's designed to make it a, a fuel efficient uh, or useful? a vehicle on the road as well as you know doing what it has to do what it's designed to do and that's to tow stuff yeah i mean you've got uh in the 5.7 liter hemi again you know when you're pushing out the kind of horsepower 395 horse you know towing capacity with a chrysler has never been an issue you know this truck is going to be able to handle you know loads like i said you know closing in on 10,000 pounds but again with the adjustable suspension that comes with this now um, essentially a ride height again borrowed technology from daimler days um, pretty much take it out of the overland package it's going to allow for ease of entry and ease of exit as well as help with aerodynamics on the roadway so these trucks are going to be considerably quieter inside that was one of the biggest complaints with chrysler um, um, in, the, in the years past is their interior configuration. The seats hurt customers back, they were loud, they just generally weren't fun to be in. And uh, with the partnership now with Fiat and all the Italian inspired interior designs, uh, that's been the least issue. I mean, they skyrocketed across the board from one of the lowest interior packages to now up towards the top in all segments. So from your experience, there was a dip in sales toward you know big size trucks like this but they made the adjustment with the engine to make it more fuel, fuel efficient. So now are you seeing an uptick in, in these type of vehicle sales? 
Absolutely. Um, again, with the 3.6 liter being available now and someone sees a truck that's capable of 25 miles per gallon on the highway, it's rather shocking to some clients. I mean, they're used to seeing their half ton trucks get 15 miles per gallon in the 2005, 2006 years, which I'm starting to begin to see most clients begin to trade in. So that's rather shocking. You know, sticker shock in a good way for once is what we're beginning to see. All right, Ash, thanks very much. Thank you, Dave.